Right? Everybody looking at the camera. <laughs> Zee Ninja! <laughs> Thank you. And again. <laughs> Wait a sec. What the hell? Cut! <clears throat> Fella, what, what's happening there? <clears throat> Just letting that woman at the door without reason. <laughs> yeah, a woman let the woman at the door? Who are you, Raffles? Now, she just leaves. The lady just leaves, right. okay? That's how it happens. All right, that's fine. Yeah? What do you want me? I want you at the counter robbing. You're a robber, so rob. Come I'm on. I'm a robber. I'm a robbing robber. We'll reset from the top there. We'll go again. I'm a robber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no help you the next time. <laughs> We're in the first positions. OK. And action! Give me the money! Oh, my no God! <laughs> These fags as well. What kind? Eh... Uh, I got me stumped there. I don't smoke, you see. Uh, <laughs> silk cut. Something light. Silk cut ultra. Or uh, menthol. San Marat said to smoke them one time in an advert. Give cut! <laughs> Why is this taking so long? I don't smoke, I'm just choosing fags. I don't know what wants to take. Listen, there's going to be dialogue over the top of this, so it doesn't matter what you say. Nick Ross is going to be talking. Right. Oh, ha Nick Ross. Have, you, have, you, have you seen Crime Watch before? Oh, I love Crime Watch. I never miss it. That's how I get really excited. I just about pissed myself when I found out I was getting this train. Right, you hit the county, you say, Gee's the fags. Right. So we exchange here. You're shouting, Give me the money. Right. Now, you're only in the shop about 20 seconds. He's okay? a fags. So you've got the bag there. Just start grabbing things at random and right. shoving them into the bag. Okay, okay? fine. Right, reset from the top. Come okay. on. I'll show you the bags, right? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, now she... Give me the money! Oh, my God! And fags, but it doesn't matter what kind they are, because I'm just grabbing <laughs> stuff at random. Booty and the flick. <laughs> Crunchy and flicks and flicks and flicks. I'll never eat all this. Right, take a heart attack, away. take the heart attack. Oh, my heart. Not oh, you, the woman behind the camera. Oh, right, sorry, hey, I've just ignored it. Just ignore that. That was just one. That was in a heart attack. Cut! <laughs> well, I, th I, think we're, uh, I think we're all right up to that point, but we're going to have to do the heart attack again. Right. Uh, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to do it again. OK. Uh, OK. So, uh, now, Ronald, this is where you have a, a change of heart. Right, OK. OK? Right. So, uh, you, you know, you're scared. Scared. The woman's taken not well. Right. And you decide that you're going to try and uh, convince your pal here to leg it with you. Right, OK, because she's taking a heart attack, right? Yeah, but your buddy's not going to move it. He wants okay. to stay here and rob the shop. What you like. OK? Right. Uh, let's <laughs> see if you can pick that up, OK? Right. From the heart attack. Right. you got that? <laughs> Put your mask. <coughs> and action. Oh, that's really good, isn't it? <laughs> right, she's not very well. Look at the state she's in. Uh, we have to get out of here. She could, she could die in this, but she probably does not. Does she? I don't know. But we, uh, we should leave because I've had a change of heart. No! I'm staying here! I should never have let you talk me into this. This is bad news, it really is. You're a wrong one. You're a bad apple and you're a rotten egg. So do the right thing and uh, come with me, you bad seed. No! <laughs> Then I shall have to take the law into my own hands. <laughs> Cut! That's surely what should have happened, though, because he wasn't coming. Somebody get me a phone, please. Do you want some ginger? Can I take some ginger? <laughs> I'd like to take some ginger. Milk, lemonade, chocolate, milk, lemonade, chocolate, milk, lemonade, chocolate, milk, lemonade, chocolate, milk, lemonade, chocolate. Dad, are you all right? What happened? Oh, did you slip? 
I don't know. Uh, oh. Oh. Look at her. Cheeky, cheeky face. <laughs> Uh, not bad, Kowalski. Five out of five. Well done. Okay, Danny, you're up next. Show your way. How's that, sunshine? I know who you are, Jimmy Gibson, 44 Scaraway Street. I know your mother. <laughs> How was that? And so there we were, standing on the balcony. It was perfection. The sun was setting, we had our cocktail glasses in our hands. And then do you know what happened? He got down on one knee and he looked up at me, that big romantic crazy off and he said to me sweet Brenda will you be my wife my heart was like that and you know I knew I knew there and then that we were going to spend the rest of our lives together my husband proposed to me in Menorca. Is that right? So then he takes out <laughs> this little box from his pocket my heart was like that. <laughs> she said to me. Listen, uh, sorry to interrupt, folks, but we better be off. Pam's waters have just broke. Oh! oh my God. <laughs> All the best, guys. Oh. All the best. You drive carefully now, Bill Spears. How <laughs> far gone, is she? Oh, she'd about two weeks to go. I have no idea. I dreamed this would happen. <laughs> I had a dream last night that Pam had went into labour. And you know, I woke up, I was sweating. My heart was like that. <laughs> and this is happening all the time. I can't believe it's came true. Do you know, only last week I dreamt that I had eaten fish fingers. Bob, Bob. In 1974, two little-known Greenock magicians, Paul Maguire and Raymond Scott, won a talent contest called Now's Your Chance. They moved from the Glasgow Pavilion to the London Palladium. <laughs> After six sellout months, the duo were lured by the lights of Las Vegas, performing as Sebastian and Max. They've been there ever since. <laughs> Has the move from Scotland to success in America changed you? No, we're still two little laddies, figurinic. Ah, uh, well, actually, I'm from Gurak. Oh, whatever, mm. you. When we were little boys, we used to get passed over the turnstiles at the, um, that team, the Greenock. Uh, the soccer! Yeah, then one day this guy comes along and said, hey, you guys, do you want to make magic in Vegas? Oh, we're both like, what, us? Get to hell, <laughs> Vegas? And now we're out here living the dream. Oh, 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 but you know, it's not about us. No, it's about them. It's about Mo and Joe Schmo from Idaho. It's about Mr. and Mrs. N.E. Body. Yeah, the punter. Mm. Hey, guys, uh, someone handed this in at the front door? Oh, thank you, Michael. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, that is so adorable. Look at you, little icing Max. I could gobble you up. Oh, that is so cute. But you know, we'll always love Scotland. It's just that we're so much bigger than it now. Oh, know? yeah. I mean, the weather and that whole unfriendly thing they've got going on there. Oh, I hate whiskey. Ah, but you love cows. Guilty as charged. I love my little hairy Highland coos. Oh, and the fried breakfast, the little flat fried sausage. That's great. If you want to, like, have a heart attack at, like, 20. <laughs> Come! Oh, Jaime, the greatest agent in the world! <laughs> great, great show tonight. I heard it was marvelous. Now, listen, how would you fellas feel about doing a show, a great show, a spectacular show in Scotland? <laughs> Excuse me, there's a man choking a fishbone over there. Is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> Anybody? Is there a doctor here? <laughs> Right! Every time you come out.
So I've been sent down this end of the precinct to complete the end of my shift. Presence of the uniform, you know. That's the thing, the bubs in here. They go daft for the old uniform, you know, they're all up for it, you know, they're all mad for it. <laughs> it's cracking. Oh, Craig, oh, you big hunky. How are you doing, Shelley? Looking good, my man. <laughs> you got your cut? As a matter of fact, I have, man. I have it coming in tonight and giving me something to give. Aye, no danger, Shelley. Aye. Hell away. I mean, gagging for it. <laughs> Mrs. Devlin. Morning, Tom. It's never too early for a fusilier. <laughs> <coughs> and the uh, and the winner of this year's uh, Mulligan's Meats charity match play trophy is. No need to say the name now. No need to say the name. Big Jock's done it again. Eight years in the trot. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, boys. Just left the big wallet there lying on the table. Didn't want to look all upside in the old photograph. <laughs> Thanks very much, Percy. The good man, Percy. I've always liked you, Percy. Goodbye and sell you, Percy. Hush up for Big Jock's acceptance speech now. <clears throat> Hard to believe. In fact, incredible. Eight years Big Jock has rode you like bitches. And now I stand here, the proud man, and once again, the champion. You know, Big Jock, looking round here now, can just see Big Jock's cast-offs everywhere. You, Percy! Is that Big Jock's old cast-off golf shoes I see you're wearing there now? No, no, no. Uh, my wife bought me these new. Fibs, boys, fibs. <laughs> big Jock can smell a big fat fishy fib. Well, if that's the case, Percy, pick up your foot and show Big Jock the sole of his old golf shoe now. <laughs> Be <-chain laughs> now. Big Jock's old shoe. Big Jock's old golf shoe. Big Jock's old cast-off golf shoe. Oh, there's no need to be ashamed now, Percy. But all that's in here, aren't you boys? Big Jock's cast-off golf clubs. Big Jock's cast-off golf balls. Big Jock's cast-off women. I'm talking about you, Percy. Never mind all that. It's a night for the champion. On your feet for Big Jock's annual victory match. Come on, get up on your feet. I can buy and sell a lot of you. Big Jock, brother. 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 Oh, no. No, no. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Bingo colours, as was my dear old dad. Oh. Calling out the numbers is the only <laughs> job I've had. My grandmama was one as well, and her dad did that too. So the job will be my son's, of course, when my bingo days are through. Now you may think there's better jobs than why I've had no luck. Cause clickety click, I'm a slow witted brick, and I must get as fuck as. After a 26-year absence, Las Vegas Magitanos Sebastian and Max have returned home to perform in Scotland. It's a far cry from the glitz and glamour that they are used to in Las Vegas. Oh, for jet lag, you cannot beat a blast of water right up the ass from a bidet. It's like, woohoo, Scotland, I'm awake! <laughs> that is so true. Listen. Maybe that's what the Highland dancers do before they dance. A squirt of water right up the ass and off they go. <laughs> that's why they wear those little kilts, Max. <laughs> you know, I never thought of that. That's great. That's what the kilts are for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, would you look at this. Little wee adorable milk in little wee cartons for a Scottish cow. <laughs> Maybe Sean Conway delivered it. Sean Conway, the Edinburgh milkman. Oh, sweet wee 007 milk. <laughs> all right, Marcus. That's the last of your cases, all right? If you want satellite telly, I've got to do for them. See if you get out for a night, dance a tronics, get two for one, or you can go to the Shawfield Dug, my bra's got a dog racing. Caledonian star, three to one. Trap two, pot a past eight. But uh, the 41 he'll grab you right after, but don't be doing after 11 o'clock. <laughs> Folks getting stabbed and chipped and all that. All right, see, he's after. Oh my God, did you see his teeth? Hello, dental plan. Little Scottish stumps, wee Hamish McStumpy teeth. <laughs> the fatal flesh eating disease has so far claimed four victims.
And now over to someone who could eat my flesh any time. <laughs> it's a lot of the sport. I could eat you for breakfast, Bob. <laughs> anyway. Would that be breakfast in bed, Lola? So long as you don't get crumbs between the sheets, Bob. Oh, between the sheets? Your wish is my command, Lola. <laughs> well, good news for rugby fans is the all black <laughs> tickets go on sale for the busy tour. <laughs> oh, the weather. Yeah. Jack, that's this. That's disgusting. Chuck that away. Oh, that's one. That's lovely. There you go. Clean that water. How'd you go to that cod? Put it down Saturday. Oh, guy, you might. Guy, the stars and eyes. Ta-da. Boom. Oh, bubbly, hello. <laughs> nice and flat. More bubbly, thank you. <laughs> yeah. You want your scene now? Meow. Where are you going, you wee monkey? Get back! <laughs> Get back, I say! Get back, I say! <laughs> Taxi for White Street. Still looking for two cars for Rye Hill Road. You've not heard my voice for a while, eh, boy? No. She's back. <laughs> See, that new job I had didn't really work out that well. First day there, I met the manager, Jimmy. And I fell for him. Oh, <laughs> he was beautiful, boys. He was like... Him off of that Titanic. No Leonardo DiCaprio. No, the other one, the one that played the captain. And he was a gentleman, boys. He was the type of guy that used to make sure he used the handle end of your toothbrush when he was poking his wee floaty shites up the U-bend. <laughs> we were in London. He took me to see... Starlight Express, my favourite show, front row, the curtain opened, Jimmy looked at me, he took my hand, I shouldn't have left my bag at the stage, boy. <laughs> the dancers came on and they just carried right out of my handbag. He somersaulted right under the air and one he skate stuck right in Jimmy's neck. <laughs> that's the fourth boyfriend I've had that's been asphyxiated at an Andrew Lloyd Webber musical. The things are looking up for me now, boys. Oh, I've got a new fella. Cod Mikey is a lovely, caring guy. In fact, it's a way to do a parachute jump the day for charity. God, I was awfully worried about him, but I'm sure it'll be all right. Only <laughs> <Monty> boys. <laughs> Can I have a word with you, Pat? Uh, <laughs> very straightforward. Watch carefully. <laughs> Out on the Glasgow streets, Sebastian and Max get reacquainted with an old friend. It's so good to see you. Now, this is Peter, Peter. and Peter's father sold me my first whoopee cushion. And my first performing cake. Peter, do you remember that? I just sell fake duck shape, mate. I don't give a <laughs> <laughs> Yes, my little angel. I used to have <laughs> Sweet. Peter, Peter, Peter. Is that your card? Next week on Pure Magic, the Magitainers bring a little impromptu Vegas glover to the streets of Scotland. Is that your card? All these great people. Here. Look at these people, Glasgow. Hello, Scotland. Yeah, boys. You got ten pence or something for a cup of tea? <laughs> <laughs> Me, 
Next week on Pure Magic, the boys check out the advanced publicity for their big show. Oh, that's real nice. That's friendly, huh? Assholes. <laughs> Who's your favourite movie actor, man? Will Smith, man. He's quality, man. Well? Well, what? You're not going to ask me mine, man. Right. Here. Who's your favourite movie actor, man? Dustin Hoffman, man. Dustin Hoffman, man. Quality choice, man. Quality choice. Right. What was he in again? <laughs> Easy to remember, man. Man. Man? Green man, man. Oh, rain man, man. Rain man. Marathon man, man. Oh, marathon man, man. Running about, man. And the cowboy one. Little big man, man. Aye, man. He plays an old man in Little Big Man, man. See? Easy to remember. Hoffman, man. All his best films have got man in them, man. Ah, you're right enough, aye. Tootsie, man. <laughs> no, man. There's no man in Tootsie, man. Aye, man, Hoffman, man. Please, a man playing a woman, man. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> hey, fellas, say hello to my new pooch, Tootsie. Oh, oh. Tootsie. Hello. What breed is that? Wee mongrel. Who's that mongrel? I've got a black lab. I've got a Jack Russell. <laughs> Jack Russell, are you? I've just got a, a Bouchon Freeze. <laughs> Biscuits and cheese for my bush on freeze. <laughs> oh, I'm weak at the knees with my bush on freeze. How dare you sneeze at my bush on freeze? <laughs> <laughs> all right there, sir, can we help you at all? Is it a computer you're after? Do you look like a bit of a whiz kid with that beard and all? And that Bill Gates shirt you've on? Are you a hacker? I'm Bob, by the way. This is Alan. So. Jonathan. So, you in for a PC, Johnny boy? <laughs> want to get some internet dating done, John Groot? <laughs> or you just want to surf the web for some hot pictures, eh, Johnny Rotten? The X5000 is the king for hot pictures, John Boy Walton. You want <laughs> digi photos, John, or you don't you? Some pictures of Melinda Messenger, eh? Need a white clean screen, Johnny Bag? <laughs> no, I'm in for a Hoover. <laughs> a Hoover? Are you under the thumb, Johnny Lily Lifford, eh? <laughs> the wife of Dragon, eh? Keep you in check. Got a tongue on her, has she Johnny Ball and Chase? <laughs> Does she have you going round with two dustbins and a broom up your ass, Benson, Woman, Hooper, boy, Fanny Ball? <laughs> Sod it. I'll go to Argos. Pussy what? Defo. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, <dear boy. laughs> that was a good one. Oh, hey, what was it? 95. Oh, he's new that monitors are smashing, eh? 95? For hearing the bloody doorbell. <laughs> Aye. It's quite a lot, isn't it? <laughs> Aye. But that's you. What? Your bottle crashing when the door goes. You've always been like that. Ach, dry up. Every Sunday the paper boy comes round for his money at half one on the button and you jump out your drawers when the bell goes. Give me peace. I've seen you just about shite yourself every time the phone rings. The phone's different. It's I bad news with that bastard. <laughs> no, you get on with yours. Well, I got half the hoist there uh, three floors down and just walk the rest, you know. Reading? <coughs> it was 120, but it's back down to 110. Yeah. Uh, no bad, eh, for 20 quid. That'll keep the old ticker in check. Right, notes. Oh, I know it's... Right, where are we? Right, this morning the mail came in. Gas bill, 74 bloody pound. Reading? 130. I'll tell you why it's so high. It's because you're run here freeloading every day off of my heat. Ugh, your arse, Jack. I've never done telling you it's too bloody warm in here. It's like an oven. Anyway, me. Slipped in the bookies. Nearly fell. Reading. 140 BPMs. Uh, you get a fright because you imagine the worst, you know what I mean? Boof, up it goes. What's that smell? 
Oh, my bloody mince. Jesus. Oh, oh, Jesus, if you look at that. What's your reading, your heart reading? Hey, hey, one fifty. See, there's a high stress factor in burning mints. Ah, oh, you're not getting... <laughs> right, see, that's the thing. You're worried sick in case you've lost your dinner. Gas was too high. <laughs> that's how your bills are so high. Shut up, you're just... Look at that, look, one five five. You're just winding me up. Ah, you're going senile, gas up too high, burning your mints. That's enough, one five eight. That's enough, Victor. You're losing your marbles. Look at that, one six two. I'm going to knock you out. That's enough. <laughs> Come on. Quick! Have a look at your painting, that'll calm you down. <laughs> oh, I've always liked that painting. Eh? Aye, green grass, horses out to pasture. Yeah. 140. Ooh. Nuzzling into one another, rolling meadows. Aye, aye. 135. Blue sky. Yeah. What a tacky load of bollocks that painting is. <laughs> One, four, two, you're just annoying me now. Sorry. <laughs> right, well, have you had a, a footer? What? A shake, you know, a, a sugar. <laughs> what the hell are you on about, man? Well, what are your BPMs? Well, you're having a hand shandy. <laughs> you manky bastard. <laughs> I've not tried that. I'll be damned if I'm going to stand there with my bobby in my horn counting my heartbeat. Mine's a 17. Mine's 16. <laughs> I'm needing my hole. Do you know? Golfer Paul Thompson suffered a horrendous eight at the last and finished the day 17 over par. That's the sport. Now back to Bob. Thanks, Laura. Just goes to show how much trouble you can have securing a birdie. <laughs> well, Bob, sometimes the direct approach works. You mean you have to get a grip of the situation? <laughs> Choose the right club. Maybe you'd be willing to give me a few lessons. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. We don't swing the same way. Well played, Laura. He's a lying shit. He sleeps around and he's got a tiny dick. Starting at the far north of the country, sunny spells everywhere.